Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the championship fight of the three, UFC 301. Alexander Pantoja versus Steve Ursaig. A lot of discussion of Ursaig deserves this shot. There was other opportunities I would assume for other fighters like uh, Muhammad Makayev didn't didn't take the fight. Ursaig won his fight against Matt Schnell. Gets the call. Boom, he's in. Alexander Pantoja, 27 wins, 5 losses. Steve Ursaig, 12-1. Minus 250 to plus 200 underdog, 34 years old to 28, 5'5 five, five to 5'8, five, 68 inch reach to 68 and a half inch reach. To say, to say Ursig wins by knockout, community's 59.1% by knockout is fucking wild. We never even see Pantoja hurt. The only time we see him even do anything not great is when he gets tired. He shoots out far out. He, you know, that's the issue in this fight. Is if Pantoja can 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 control himself and not go berserk mode early, he can do good things. I mean, he's gonna do good things anyways. But when he gets tired, he puts himself in worse positions than he typically would. Now his grappling is gonna be the deciding factor in this matchup. I just wish he wouldn't be exhausted while doing it. Because it gives the chance of a fighter like Ursig, who has good gas tank, a good chin, who is defensively pretty dang good. It just gives that person an opportunity late in a fight to to change the fight. Now, Pantoja's never been finished. So, until we see him finished, we can't say he gets finished. That being said, the only way that Ursig wins this is in the 4th or the 5th, if Pantoja is exhausted... And Ursaig's able to reverse, and he's not exhausted, obviously. I like Pantoja in this. I think Ursaig can do some good things. I think he has some good power. He's not the fastest guy in the world, for sure. Um, he, his clinch game's pretty, pretty good. Um, his takedowns are good, as we know. His uh, uh, transitions are pretty good. Strikes landed per minute is 4.32 to 4.57. 49 accuracy to 48. Absorbed 3.90 to 3.64. Defense is 50 to 55. Here's where it's interesting. Takedown average for 15 minutes, 2.20 to 1.69. Accuracy is 48 to 30. Defense is 67 to 77. One submission attempt to almost another submission attempt. So, again, it's different grappling because Pantoja, he's, he's a master at getting your back. So, early watch Pantoja bank. The first couple rounds. So probably about the third round. You'll start to see a little bit of a shift. And uh, that's where Ursa is going to have to go for it. Um, I think Pantoja wins 3-2. to two, But that third round I think is going to be the deciding factor. On who wins this matchup. Um, it's going to be on who starts better. And who ends better. So again I think Pantoja starts better. Than Ursa finishes. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know you are uh, picking. This is the UFC 301 main event. And as always, I'll see you filthy animals at the finish line. Peace.